As you can see, the keel has been painted two colors, green for the portion of the swing prior to impact and off-white for after impact. The geometry of the keel is such that a uniform stance will align the golfer correctly. The notch ahead of the left foot is a guide for the quarter turn, which Ben Hogan advocated. The right foot should be positioned in line with the crease through the green side. Tall golfers position the keel closer to the ball. Begin with the keel three inches from the ball. The keel should then be moved closer to or further from the ball to create a comfortable stance width. The crease through the middle of the light-colored side is meant as a guide for the shaft. The crease ought to fall directly below the shaft. The leading edge of the keel depicts the position the waggle reaches in its forward motion. The midline between the two colors is to guide the golfer's action along Hogan's angle. The keel is a cross trainer. It is meant to be used in three ways. By folding the keel and placing the ball in front of the fold, the keel acts as an alignment aid and as an impact guide. The golfer simply keys in on swinging down the crease. Beautiful. To activate the left arm motion and encourage supination, the ball may be placed near the back corner of the keel. As with the previous exercise, the golfer should focus on swinging to the keel's spine. By using the keel in these ways and applying sensible fundamentals, golfers enjoy greater consistency and athleticism. Five feet from the pan.